We call it Jackie Pro. The trick is at the start. He's smart. That spring load at the bottom. Jackie Pro changed. I uh, I almost don't want to talk about it because it, I think it gives away some some things that I might do in the future. Using other rowing events that we've done in the past and looking at split times for how athletes have come across. Big part of that actually was the results of the 2020 stage one 1K row. That was on its own, just the test that we had at that stage. And so I looked at the results of, of the field, found a good average, figured out like what that looks like. And the goal was that everybody in the field should be able to do this. There's no question that they can do that time. The question is, can you do that time and then sustain the output to win the rest of the test? But it was just looking at a lot of numbers, looking at a lot of different race results and uh, looking at what high-level CrossFit athletes have done in the recent past. We're bookmarking with benchmarks. So if you guys think all the way back early, feels like a long time ago, we did a version of Elizabeth. We're gonna end with a version of Jackie. 1K row stays the same. 50 thrusters is gonna be at 95. And then 30 is not pull-ups, it's bar muscle-ups. So that's the final. When you do Jackie, what's your approach on that row? Uh, like what my time is? Not so fast. Not so fast that I cannot get off the barbell or get off the rower and immediately start doing thrusters. Awesome. So the wrinkle in this workout is I'm going to force the pace. Everybody has to be off the rower by a certain time or you just do not continue. And it'll be a time that everybody can do, but they don't want to do because they, if they could, they would want to strategize a slower pace to be able to do the rest of the work. We're gonna play with, for the men, no slower than 315 off the 1K. For the ladies, I think 340 is the 1K pace that you have to be faster than. When we told them at Rogue and they weren't happy about it, it was perfect because it was at the end of the week there, they were tired. This is how the athletes at the games were gonna be feeling. You know, the compounding effect. There's a little chatter about how it was probably too aggressive. I think I did a 312. Is that a 137 pace? That's kind of fast. Are we going to have trash cans next to the rowers? <laughs> Their response to that was perfect. And then afterwards, everybody said, oh, you know, I think that was actually a really, really good concept. <laughs> it's not their job to analyze. It's their job to perform. Okay. I mean, I'm, I'll make it through 15 row. It's going to hurt that stuff, but I'll make it through 15. I'm not looking forward to the first set of thrusters. That's going to be very uncomfortable. But I, that's the point. So. All right, guys, last run. Thank you guys for a great week. This is it. Here we go. Starting in three, two, one, go. I knew that the men's pace was right. Like I had landed on that pretty easily. I feel like we had the numbers. And truth be told, there's a lot less spread between men in an event like that, like a 1K row for time. You see less distribution uh, than you do in the women. And so it was a little easier to land on that number. For the women, I was a little bit less certain. And so it took a little bit more time to gain the confidence. It's funny, because that was the original number that I had was 340. You know, it kind of kept second guessing it, and retesting it, and looking at it again but ultimately came back and stuck with it. I'm saying is he made it. He didn't think he would be able to, but he did. Yeah. He told us he wouldn't be able to make that cut, but he made it. Yeah. And then he hated life for 30 seconds, walked very slowly to the barbell, did three reps. <laughs> so I asked him before they started, I was like, hey, if you had to do this undictated, what would your finish time be? And they were all like, oh, I don't know, like between 10 and 12. It's like, well, turns out you were all, I mean, Bill 10, was sub 10. Sub -10. The rest of them were between 10 and 12 with a dictated pace, you know, so, interesting. Kamikaze Jackie. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. 
Almost every time that I had a bit of doubt as to, okay, is this too much? Is it too new? Is it too whatever? To a T, they were like, no, <laughs> it should be harder. I'm like, okay. So that, yeah, that was interesting. That was awesome. Thank you guys. Tell me what you thought before going in versus now that you've done it. Right after I got the off the row, I was like redlined. But then like honestly from like the start of the thrusters to the end, I kind of like stayed at that red line. Like I couldn't push the thrusters else I would have like been on the floor. I don't think the rower is going to affect. It definitely didn't affect me as much as I thought it would. I felt like I was straight to the barbell. Like I felt like I was able to move unbroken through the tens. I like that a lot. I think it was really cool. And I think it was like put good. My 315 might be it. I, I think know, it you might be right. I think it's like 316, I think worse 316. Maybe. I think everyone's capable of a 315. It might screw them over on the barbell, but I think everyone when they're looking at like ride or die, they're gonna row a 315. Under the I think that's what's gonna crowd. happen. Yeah, they, they might fall apart on the barbell, but I don't think anybody's gonna accidentally get caught. It's the transition where it's like I might as well put it down, and when it hits the floor and you're redlined, you sit there. And so that like that'll start to play games of like who's gonna get back on the bar faster. That force breakup is is good because some people just drop it, walk it, pick it back up and get back to work. Because I was never going to fail a thruster for how bad I hurt. At the end of the day, it's like the intensity that you bring to the test is the hard part. You know, that's, that's what happens in the affiliate. It's, it's not, yeah, sometimes you see like a big nasty chipper and you're like, man, just getting through this is, is the hard part. But more often than not, you look at it and you say, that's it. And it's the effort that you bring to it that dictates the difficulty. It's no different at the, at the games.